Dallas will also be heading to the polls tomorrow, and there are some tough decisions to make there. Yeah, the city's multi-million dollar natatorium and aquatic center has been closed for months, and it has divided the city leaders and residents. Our Michael Gibson spoke with all three mayoral candidates today about that multi-use center. The multi-use center here in Alice was closed late last year, a decision that has divided city leaders and voters. I don't know what they're going to do with that big swimming We call it the swimming pool down there. Uh, they need to do something with it. I mean, somebody might rent it. They need to move on it. We need to, I guess, like rally together as a city, you know, bring, bring the city together. Right now it's a little bit uh, in disarray, I guess you could say. As you've heard, the people here in Alice have a lot to say about what they expect from the new mayor. Well, what do the candidates say? Mayor Ike Ornalis wants to get the Aquatic Center back open. He blames his predecessor, former Mayor Larry Martinez, for overspending on the facility. Our maximum guarantee on the natatorium was 15.3 million. How I got to 20, 23 million, I have no idea, and, and why we borrowed eight more million dollars uh, to go there uh, is questionable. So, I mean, uh, my guarantee to the community is that uh, we're going to continue to to try to understand and continue to look on, on where that deficiency is. Martinez is one of two candidates running against Ornalis and maintains there was no missing money. I saw where they were saying that there was missing money. I have no idea what they're talking about. That's a political thing. I can guarantee you when I was there, money was spent well, money was spent where it needs to. Was there room for improvement? Absolutely. There, there always is, right? Our job as the mayor and the city council to set policy to make sure that our money was spent wisely. Martinez says he's also hoping to lure back those oil field service companies who left town. But the third candidate in this race, businesswoman Jolene Vanover, doesn't believe those companies are coming back and wants to concentrate on helping the local business owners. She also believes that she can find a solution to the question about what to do with this multi-use center. This is the biggest annexation that, that our town has ever done, and it's closed, and it's in a lawsuit. And, and it's a big spaghetti bowl of, of um, disaster that was created by past councils. I know that if I get in there, there's a way to figure every, every problem has a solution. On Saturday, voters here in Alice will decide on which one of these candidates it wants to put in office for the next two years. Michael Gibson, 3 News.